this is a peculiar room we just come into. Um, got a bathtub, which is kind of normal now in Korea, I guess. But there's also those wall-like paintings, like a, everything on the walls and stuff is really strange looking. And we've got a bed. It's a circle. So that's peculiar. And then we've got this massive television hooked up to a computer all in the room. This is None of this has ever happened before. This is a new experience. <laughs> it does not matter what you go to have for food in Korea. It will always, every single time, as a rule, come with sweet pickles. When we got here, they were playing um, Stand By Me. <laughs> I'm not sure why they're just playing on the corner of the street either. <laughs> so we went to Penis Park and now this place is a little chesty, don't you think? Today we are in Tamuli Park, which contains a lot of these little boobs that are hanging out on the ground. These are actually tombs to the royalty of this area from several centuries ago. Um, today we're going to visit one where we can walk into it and uh, the person that's in there died 2,000 years ago, Eric said, so we're walking into some amazingly old tombs. So we're inside one of those tombs and basically what these tombs are, it's a lot like what the pyramids are in Egypt. Um, just like royal families or whatever have been buried and they've built these giant mounds of dirt up on top of uh, up on top of the area it's and then they have buried them with relics and things and I'm not sure if the meaning is the same as it is in Egypt but you kind of get the impression it is and um, that's about it they're pretty cool outside and wandering around and I'm not really sure what they actually look like inside because they've really just made it more of a museum than they have a explanation of what it looks like inside of one of the real tombs so we just got Jesus touted uh, they give us this magazine they started asking us just the regular like tout things like they might be giving us art or they might want to take us to an exhibit or something like that just asking us questions about who we are, where we're from, where we're going, what we're doing. And um, now I get to learn about the Bible. How, how, how are they doing this? <laughs> what they don't know is people come up to our house in the States and do this. Walking up the driveway. Of all the things we've seen in the past nine months, this is by far the most spectacular thing. Let me give you a rundown of the facts here. This is an astrological timepiece, basically, an observatory. It's constructed between 632 and 646 AD. It's apparently simple design, conceals amazing sophistication. Along the base, there's 12 stones that, sim that symbolize the 12 months of the year. Going up, there's 30 stones symbolizing each day of the month. And in total, there's 366 stones which symbolize every day of the year. So it's just a calendar. They may have been a little off on their count of the days of the year, but that's okay. I bet you're stunned. Let's check out Katie's stunned face. This is a strawberry field. It's big. So next week are uh, Korea's local elections, and this is like a countrywide thing. And um, this is people just like, you know, showing their support for whatever politician. And each politician has got a number. Like, this is the number 5 group here. And over here is the number 12 group. And it looks like number 5 has got some more supporters here.
But on the other side of the street is number 12. And you can see all these signs. Number eight, number nine, number one, and so forth. But this is going on a lot. And these trucks drive around all over town and blare music sometimes or somebody's talking or whatever. But that's how local elections in Korea work. <laughs> Who are you voting for? What number? I'm gonna go with 10 because they had a tiger. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> so we keep walking by these stands that smell like marshmallow fluff. Like when you open the jar and you just breathe in the marshmallow fluff, it smells just like that. So we've finally given in to the smell and it turns out they are walnut cakes. So basically what they are when you split them open, it's kind of cooked and kind of not fully cooked and it's just walnut all on the inside with a little bit of batter and it's pretty intense and very good. It's not as good as it smells, but it's pretty delicious. So in Korea, it's pretty common for couples that are dating to dress identically. And another thing that seems to be kind of a theme is matching underwear. I like that underwear. Katie likes that underwear. She wants us to have matching panties. <laughs> game of grocery shop store or pet shop good news we're not in China it's a pet shop 